Here at Eaton Fine Art, we are thrilled to be sharing with you Mark Davies' brand new Joker-inspired artwork, Smile. This incredible new artwork from the Lost in Hollywood 3 collection is available to order now. Keep watching as Mark gives us a tour of the artwork and shows us some amazing hidden references. So this is a piece simply called Smile, inspired by the Joker. It was initially going to be purely based on the Dark Knight, uh, with the brilliance of Heath Ledger. But for me personally, from watching the, uh, the most recent Joker piece um, and being left completely open mouthed by the, the, the pure brilliance, the, the brutality, um, utter sadness um, of the character and, and what happened, it took on a different, different form. So it started with a storyteller style piece where it's this abandoned derelict um, building which is uh, depicted as the asylum, uh, but done in a way that it, it takes on a whole different level. Um, by showing the, uh, the characters. So it's, it's a classic darkness and light that I love to work with uh, and showing how close that they can reside um, within a person, within a building, within the four walls. Um, and it's, that was the, the aim, was, was to do something really, really dark, really beautiful, um, but, but in a, a completely different way through showing the, the characters and, and touching on, on just, just the, the battles that are going on within their heads um, and what that can lead to. So the decision to put the characters in was a big one. It's, it can, it can, can spoil a piece, but the aim was to, to have them so that they are literally bleeding out onto, onto the canvas. So it's pure emotion that's captured through the, the detailing there. And, and that's the idea being that with this asylum that it's, it's so difficult to leave, but so easy to return. Um, and that, that takes on, a, on several different um, meanings, but it was showing that, that contrast between the, the pure sinister side of of the Heath Ledger character, where he's absolutely seething in the shadows, um, but then there's co complete contrast to go across to the working Phoenix, where it's he's just totally lost in his own world, no idea of the destruction that he's he's causing, no remorse, and I guess ultimately happier. Um, and it's that, it's showing how that, that can, can completely escalate and, and, and morph through to, to the opposite. And it's, that was the, the nicety, was to, to, to have this concept of, of the, you're battling your demons, that they're, they're growing taller behind you within the walls. Um, it's just been a, a wonderful piece to work on that is... Uh, particular poignancy to me and I'm sure to, to many others and um, I've just loved every minute of it. It's just just phenomenal. I, I, the, the, the emotions that come from watching that film alone. Um, I hope you love it and, and can, hopefully I've conveyed what I'm trying to, to put out there because it's, um, yeah, powerful. <laughs>